फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू हैव सेड दैट देर आर नो गोल्स इन लाइफ नो पर्पस एंड येट वी आर ऑल हेयर विथ एनलाइटनमेंट एज अवर गोल प्लीज स्पीक ऑन दिस If you are here with enlightenment as your goal you cannot be here physically you may appear to be here but you cannot be with me the goal is in the future i am here and the mind which is goal oriented is bound to be in the future we will never meet i know you are here to attain something that's why you are missing it i am here to persuade you to drop the very idea of attaining anything whatsoever enlightenment moksha nirvan god included if you drop this goal oriented mind and there is none other than goal oriented mind there is no other mind if you drop it you are enlightened enlightenment is not a search it is a realization it is not a goal it is the very nature of life itself as life is it is enlightened it needs nothing to be added to be improved life is perfect it is not moving from imperfection to perfection it is moving from perfection to perfection you are here to attain something that is functioning as a barrier drop that barrier just be here forget about any purpose life cannot have any purpose life is the purpose <coughs> how it can have any other purpose otherwise you will be in an infinite regress then that purpose will have another purpose then that another purpose will have another purpose life has no purpose and that's why it is so beautiful hindus have called it leela a play it is not even a game Now in the west the word game has become very very important hundreds of books have been published within 2 3 years with the title game the master game the ultimate game the game people play and so on and so forth but there is a difference between game and play hindus have called it play not game because even a game has something as a purpose a result to be attained victory to be achieved the opponent has to be conquered then a play becomes a game then it becomes serious grown ups play games children only play just the very activity is enough unto itself it has a intrinsic end there is no goal added to it life is a leela it is a play and the moment you are ready to play you are enlightened try to understand from some other dimension 
you are already that which you are trying to be. The more you try, the more you will miss. You leave only first. You simply accept yourself. You just be that. Suddenly it is there. It has always been there. But you were seeking so seriously. That was the only cause of missing it. You are here to attain something, enlightenment, samadhi, satori or something. To me all those words are nonsense. Because they again give you a new line of desiring. They again open a door of desire. In the world you desire money, power, prestige. Then you get fed up with it. Then you see the whole thing is just rubbish. Even if you get, you are defeated. If you don't get, you are defeated. Then you come to feel that this whole thing is nonsense. Now suddenly you start playing new games. Enlightenment, meditation, yoga, God, the other world, the other source. Again, the mind is at ease. A new world of desires has opened. Now you will be after these goals. And money is not so elusive as meditation. This world at least is solid. That soul, that world, the other world is absolutely fantasy. Now you are in a deeper ditch than before. With the first you could realize that it is useless. With the second now it will take millions of life to realize that this too is useless. When one person comes to discover that all goals are useless, with no exception, all goals are useless, then there is nothing to do. One just has to be. One relaxes. And one relaxes so totally because there is nothing to do, there is no tension. Suddenly your boundaries melt as is no melting in the morning sun. With nothing to do, you disappear. The ego disappears. With nothing to do, nothing to be, nothing to achieve, who you will be, the whole identity evaporates. This is enlightenment. Then you start a totally different way of life. You start being playful. You start being alive moment to moment. Nowhere to go. Whatsoever the life gives, you accept it with deep gratitude. Grace happens to you. This is what I call to become a god. The moment you start playing, living in the moment, you have become a god. I am here to persuade you that you are already gods. You may be here to become gods. That's your trip. I'm not concerned with it. I know what I am here for. Just to persuade you to look at your own face once again. To search within and not to go without searching for something which doesn't exist. Life is a purposeless play, play of infinite forces, beautiful if you don't have an achiever's mind, ugly if you have ambition to become something, to be something, to do something. 
रिलैक्स ड्रॉप द फ्यूचर कंप्लीटली ओनली दिस मोमेंट एक्सिस एंड दिस मोमेंट इज इटर्निटी एंड ओनली दिस लाइफ इज ऑल that is there don't think of the other soul just the other day i was telling the chinese allegory the man returned from the middle of the river why he returned from the middle of the river because there is no other source this is the only source and why he started laughing because he suddenly realized he himself is the buddha who he has been seeking Zen masters teach to their disciples that meditating. If you someday come across Buddha, kill him immediately. Don't spare a single moment. Kill him immediately. Otherwise, he will lead you astray. They are right. While you are meditating, Krishna comes with his flute. It's so beautiful. Again, you are dreaming. Again, you are caught in a dream and desire, and Jesus comes, and you are caught in the web of the mind. It is a spider's web, and then Buddha comes, and you forget yourself. The Zen master said, "Kill the Buddha immediately. Clear the the way. Don't allow anybody else to be there." that is don't allow any gold to be there just be total alone in your absolute purity this is enlightenment i should repeat because i know you will forget and forget and forget you are already that which you are seeking let this will be the basic mantra if you can understand this mantra you have understood all give it a try to goals you have been giving too many lives you have already given to them now try to live moment to moment as if there is no future in the beginning it will be only as if but by and by you will become aware that that as if is the only reality in the beginning it may be just like acting soon you will realize that that acting is the only reality you have come with a goal but i won't allow you to remain with a goal escape me the goal is bound to drop just hang around a little more and the goal is bound to drop either i can be here with you or the goal you have to choose 